Hello friends! Welcome back to our channel! This is Yuta Chibana aka Haru Kasama. Hello, hello, hello! So if you're new to this channel, I am a cosplayer based in Japan. I mostly make cosplay-related content but I also make videos about my cat, my baby, life in Japan, and anything else I find interesting because this is my channel and not yours. Trixie Katya, I love you so much! Please don't sue me! Continuing with our 12th year cosplay anniversary celebration, for today's video, I will be sharing some tips and tricks on how you can improve your cosplay. So these are practical and general tips and advice on how you can improve your cosplay. So regardless if you are a beginner or if you've been doing cosplay for a few years or you've been in this hobby for quite some time, these are little things that you can do to hopefully improve your cosplay. So, I am not an expert, but I do have 12 years of experience. And if you need help, I will be your senpai if you will be a willing kohai. So, let's get to our video! <laughs> Tip number one! Make sure that your costume is clean and ironed. I can't stress this enough. Even if the character is a uh, delinquent, is considered uh, is considered as messy or disheveled or dirty character, please make sure that your costume is clean and is ironed because it looks better in photos. And not only does it look good, it makes the costume feel nicer when you put it on. So I highly, highly advise that you make sure that your costume is clean and well-pressed. Unless the character is, you know, has some battle damage, has some dirt or stains. Those are intentional stains. So that's different from just not washing or preparing your costume. So when your costume is ironed or nakaplancha, mas maganda siyang tingnan sa photos. And it makes your photographer's photographer's job easier because they don't have to edit as much and it just looks cheap cheap if your costume isn't well pressed or ironed and it doesn't matter if the character is a schoolgirl or is a character of royal descent or is from the noble line or if they are a military character Please make sure that your costume is clean and well-pressed because I guarantee it really does look better in photos. It looks, it makes it look professional. It makes it more re look more regal. Lalo na if they are wearing capes. Tip number two. Go for better shoes. What I mean by better shoes is if you can, if kayang tiisin ang paa nyo, especially for shoots, please go with shoes that have heels or heels or platforms cause i don't know it just makes it look better plus it gives a it, it gives off an illusion that you have longer legs the higher the heel the high the longer the legs would look so for cons it's okay if you would prefer to go with flat shoes because for cons it's better to prioritize comfort over accuracy and in cons naman and in conventions in and in events most of the time i think you would only be photographed from the head to the waist so your shoes wouldn't be a prominent feature in your cosplay and it's easier to move around i understand if you go with flat shoes but for photos i swear it looks so much better if you wear high-heeled shoes or boots or platforms Really, I swear, it does look good. <laughs> I'll give you examples. Man, may lamok. <laughs> oh, but if you have um, health issues and in you, and you can't wear heels for long, please don't sacrifice your safety and go with what makes you feel comfortable. But again, if you want to look nicer, if you want to look much more pro and your co an elevator cosplay, please go with high heels. Again, the higher the heel, the longer your legs would look. So it doesn't only apply to females. Guys, please wear heels too so that you can have those fantastic long-legged features that we all love. <laughs> Plus, it makes you look taller. 
Tip number three. Three. In other places, ganti three nila, no? Uh, three. How do you... How do you show three <laughs> in your country or where you're from? Tip number three. Um, undergarments matter. So when I say undergarments, it ju it doesn't mean just underwear like your panties or boxers or briefs or bras. I mean underwear, undergarments in general like petticoats, bloomers, um, jock straps, corsets. It matters a lot. Especially if you want to alter the proportions of your body. So for example, right now Genshin Impact is very popular. And there is a very popular character, Zhongli. And I think that cosplayers of this character should wear a corset because his body is <laughs> triangular and he has a really nice waist. So I think if Zhongli cosplayers would wear corsets, their cosplay would really look more Zhongli-ish. Okay. So for another example, if if your character is wearing Lolita or wearing a poofy skirt, you can achieve that effect by wearing petticoats. So yeah, cos um your undergarments really matter. No one will see them, but how the garment over it would look like will be affected. So think of your undergarments when you put on your cosplay. Another thing is for people who cosplay Sentai characters or guys especially who wear Sentai suits. Conventions are usually family friendly events. There may be kids running around and most of them are short and their eye level is directly aligned to your junk so no one wants to see your the outline of your junk so please wear a jock strap or some dancer's belt i will put a photo here of what a dancer's belt is so please make sure that walang naaaninag there are no body parts that shouldn't be seen for keep it keep it kid friendly <laughs> Keep it general patronage. Keep it GP, please. So, ayun. That's why I would really recommend that you think of your undergarments when you consider a cosplay. When you consider your costume. Tip number four. Hide your safety pins and make sure that there are no loose threads on your costume. So, safety pins are our best friend. To be honest, it is an amazing little item it puts your it puts stuff in place it can cinch a costume it can hold up something it does a lot of things but for me at least pagkita yung pardible pardible ba pardible when when the safety pin is visible it kind of destroys the fantasy like ang cool cool no costume and then you see the safety pin parang ah uh, it it levels it levels down the costume for me at least like for example ang yaman yaman ng character naka gown there's a beautiful flowing train and then you see a safety pin it immediately makes me think like ah uh, bakit naman naka pin lang so there's nothing wrong with pinning parts of your costume but make sure to hide it or if it's visi visible Make sure that it's like sinaja, like it's meant to be there so that it doesn't tear away from the fantasy of the costume. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> I hope you do. And yun nga, loose threads, especially for rich characters, automatically makes it look like the costume or the dress or the outfit isn't really well made. So snip out those loose threads and hide those safety pins tip number five learn to hold your props properly is your character holding a sword what kind of sword is it is it a katana is it a claymore is it a long sword is it a broad sword what kind of sword is it so how do you hold your props 
can also show how well you know your character. So, don't forget the play in cosplay. Kaya nga cosplay, di ba? It's costume and roleplay. The, the props or the weapons that the character holds adds a lot to their personality. So, how you hold it matters. Okay. So, ayun. Learn to hold your props properly so that you can give justice to your characters. A bit of a commercial. <laughs> if you like my choker, I made this. This choker is available at Seba Crafts. Link at the description down below. You can order this through our shop. Please support Seba Crafts because a portion of our earnings I donate to animal welfare groups. So please help me save or help more fur babies. Thank you so much. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Ay. Again, please support Seba Crafts. Thank you. Tip number six, good lighting is your best friend. So when your photos are dark, it makes you look older and it makes you look more haggard. Good lighting makes your photos look nicer and it makes your skin look better. So really, I advise that you care about good lighting, get yourself a good ring light or take photos during the day. Do your cosplay trials when there is good and ample natural light or a good source of light so that it looks better. <laughs> I swear, ang laki ng effect ng good lighting to a cosplay. So, yeah. <laughs> Even if it's just a selfie or during a shoot or in a convention, uh, position yourself in a place where there is good lighting, good source of light, especially on your face, para maganda tingnan. And you don't look haggard. And nobody wants to look older. <laughs> Everyone's lo everyone wants to look nicer and younger. So, good lighting is your best friend. Get yourself a good ring light. Yung malaki, not the small one. <laughs> Tip number seven. Eat something sweet. Eat something chocolate. Eat something that you like. Maybe this is just a placebo effect. I don't know. But I always do this. Because I found that it makes me relaxed, it makes me happier, especially when I cosplay Genki characters. So, kahit isang subo lang, even just a little bit, eat something that you like. For me, that's chocolate, almond chocolate to be specific. It makes me happy and it makes me feel, feel a little bit more confident. And I'm happy, plus it gives me a little bit of energy when I'm feeling tired during conventions, especially. Don't go to an event or a photo shoot on an empty stomach. You need a boost of energy. And when you're tired, it shows on the photo in the photos. Unless na lang you have a very good photographer who can post-process those photos. But don't make your photographer work that hard. So again... Eat something sweet, eat something chocolate, eat something that you like before a convention or before putting your costume on. So that you have something to cheer you up and make your day a little bit brighter. Tip number 8. Practice your craft. By craft, I mean it can mean your makeup. It can mean your wig styling. It can mean your posing. Practice every aspect of cosplay that you can think of. If you want to make your own costumes, practice sewing your costumes, even by hand muna. If you want to make your own accessories, just make them. Don't be afraid if you're a newbie or and pangit yung kakalabasan niya. It doesn't matter. Eventually, if you keep doing it, if you keep at it, you will get better. No one starts out great unless you're that talented. But even if you're talented, hard work can surpass that. Just think of Rock Lee. <laughs> oh my god, Naruto. Again, don't be discouraged. Kung right now, you're not at the level that you want to be, just practice, keep doing it, and eventually, you will get there. When I started out, I wasn't really good at cosplay. I'm, I've been doing this for 12 years. I'm still not amazing. Wow! <laughs> I'm not that kira-kira cosplayer. But I'm a long way from what I used to be, and I'm not a mediocre, cos mediocre cosplayer anymore. So just practice, practice your makeup, practice posing, practice editing your photos if you want to. Just don't give up. 
if this is something that you really really want to do if cosplay makes you happy just practice do trials keep practicing keep doing it and eventually i guarantee you will get better tip number nine follow inspirational cosplayers inspirational cosplayers i mean cosplayers that don't have drama and those that post their cosplay works in progress those that post positivity cosplayers that post a little bit about their lives for me i really like ak wiru kamoy cosplay and leneth from singapore nakakatuwa kasi when they post their progress photos and when they post how they do something and their views on cosplay in general it makes me want to do better so when you follow people like that who inspire and motivate you can't help but want to do better too you can't help but you can't help but want to be better as well so choose people to look up to para you know you can also move forward in that direction when you have people who can inspire you, you can do a lot more things. And parang, motivate ka eh. It makes you want to do better. So, ayun. Follow inspirational cosplayers. Tip number 10. 10. Enjoy cosplay and have fun. So, this advice seems very cliche, but I think it needs to be said. So, cosplay is an expensive hobby. We spend our time and money <laughs> on our costumes and ourselves so that we have so that we can have good cosplays so if you're not enjoying if you're not having fun if lagi ka na lang nai stress and you're feeling these negative emotions you're feeling sad disappointment and you're just damaging your self-worth and your self-confidence why are you doing it your time would be better spent doing something else that you love so, if you're not getting any fulfillment, any satisfaction, if hindi ka masaya, I suggest that you find another hobby. Because, ano, it really shows. May kita mo na lang na pag nakita mo yung cosplay photos mo na, ay, mukhang hindi ako masaya. Kitang kita eh. You can, you know. And time is a very valuable commodity. It's something that you can't take back. So, find something else that you love. If you don't enjoy cosplay, do something else. Why do something if you're not having fun? If you're not happy, just move on and find another hobby. I never expected that I would be doing this for 12 years. But look at me. <laughs> I Look at me now. Meron na akong anak but I'm still cosplaying because I love what I do. I'm having fun. I enjoy what I do. And I hope that when you see my cosplay photos, you can feel my dedication to the craft and how much joy it has brought me. So, that's why I like making these videos. I share these feelings. Because I want people who watch my videos to enjoy cosplay as much as I do. Because I love the craft. I love the characters that I cosplay. And I'm enjoying myself. So, I wish that for everybody else who is watching this video. I want us to all enjoy and have fun. And revel in this community and have fun enjoy each other's company and enjoy the artistry and the craft of cosplay <sighs> so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe like comment and share the like is very important so that youtube can suggest our video to more people out there so we can get more subscribers because i like para thank you so much for watching please support us Take care always and if there is a topic that you would like me to cover, please comment down below. Or if you're too shy, you can also reach out to me directly through my social media accounts. I reply fastest through my Facebook page. Thank you so much again. Ingat po tayo lagi. See you all again next time and let's enjoy cosplay. Thank you and goodbye!